watching in uh, for the first time. We have I am Catherine J, and I'm going to be here talking about some fashion talks today. Um, so before I jump LDM into radiation. that, I do want to talk about what I'm wearing today. As you can see, I have a beautiful red dress on, and it's by Calvin Klein. Um, and I have this uh, Holland textile print necklace that I actually made myself. Um, always keep in mind that you can always uh, get good things at like a discount, you know, like Burlington Co. Factory or, you know, Marshalls. They always have name brand things on sale. So you can look like you're rocking the top designers at a very low, low price. All right, so let's get into it. The first thing I want to talk about today is uh, the five do's and don'ts for women uh, for fashion. Now, some of these things I'm kind of like guilty of doing myself. <laughs> so, you know, I'm just going to let you guys know that it's okay. People can make mistakes. It's all right. But just get on top of it so you look good all the time. So the first one is wearing the wrong shoe size. This is particularly for like women who wear like the pumps and they're like a little bigger than what they're supposed to be. Um... When you're walking, you can definitely see, like, the gaps and everything, and it's not really flattering. Um, a little tip that you should do if you're getting your correct size, which you should be, um, is uh, stretching them out. Wear, like, tube socks probably for, like, 30 minutes to an hour in your house walking around doing stuff, and it actually stretches out the shoes so it doesn't mess up your feet when you're, like, going out and partying and everything because you never want to wear brand new shoes straight out the box. <laughs> um, so the next one is dirty shoes. So, yeah, like, we're going to continue with the shoe thing because sometimes people are just not on top of it. Like, there's nothing wrong with having um, the same shoe for a next season, but what's important is making sure you get a little wiped down because, you know, especially if you're going somewhere and, you know, people see you in the street, they don't want to see, like, dirty sneakers or dirty shoes. So just get, like, a quick wipe down on it before you step out. Or um, they have what they call the shoe protective spray. Just spray a little bit on your shoe before you walk out. Um, just, I think you got to let it dry probably like two or three minutes and it'll like protect your shoe from like water or mud or anything just in case you do have a little accident and you're walking in a puddle. <laughs> okay, um, the next one is too much jewelry. Now, I can confess that sometimes I do wear too much jewelry today. Not really. You know, I didn't really wear earrings today. I just wanted to... Make sure you guys see this beautiful <laughs> necklace that I'm wearing here. Um, and then I just keep to, you know, the basic jewelry. Um, but I try not to wear too much jewelry. It's like when you see people in the street and they're just, like, wearing way too much jewelry, the first thing I think of is, like, Mr. T when he had all those necklaces, like, all the gold necklaces. I mean, like, that works for, you know, his particular look. But when it's something that's just like every day, sometimes it's a little bit too much. Or like when you're wearing like too many bangles on your arm, the issue with that is um, the bangles can make your arms look shorter and nobody really wants to make your arms look like T-Rex. So try to stay away from that too. All right, the next thing is chip nails. Now, psh, trust me, I've done it before too. Um, sometimes, you know, my nails are not always on point, but try to keep in mind to make sure you add on an extra coat um, of nail polish just in case before you go out, because you never know what can happen. You could be going to work and then somebody invites you to like a meet and greet or a mixer or something, and you don't want to go there and have a great outfit on, and then you just have like chip nails, because you know that's not gonna work. Another good thing. That's right, of course. Another good thing is trying to use uh, gel polish. Um, you don't always have to get go and get your nails done at like the nail salon. You know they have it gel polish at like pharmacies or different places like Target, um, and you can pick them up. They're like five dollars, and you could just paint them away, just one or two coats. And you're good to go. You let it dry, and you're out the door. So don't even worry about that. And they have quick dry. So 
um, you really don't have to worry. So if you just got to go boop, 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 and you're out. <laughs> All right, so the last one, and I personally didn't, you know, really notice it until um, someone wrote it up to me, but it's changing your handbags. Now, before you guys get all angry in the comments below, just let, hear me out. Um, if you're going out to an event and you have, like, this big bulky bag, it, like, takes away from your outfit or, like, the necklace that you're trying to show off or your earrings. If you have a big statement piece, it kind of, like, draws everybody away because all they see is this big old tote bag or this big old backpack with you. And they're just like, oh, you look great. What's up with that? Um, I know that, you know, here in New York, there's always women on the go. So um, it's a little harder to just you know, have like a travel uh, bag with you or have a little going out purse on the side when you're like going from work. But my suggestion is put like the evening bag in your tote bag and when you get to wherever the mixer is or the event, just leave your tote bag um, in the coat check so it just doesn't mess up with your whole thing. Cause you know there's gonna be somebody taking pictures and you do not want those pictures on the internet cause then you know what's gonna happen? You're gonna end up on this show and I'm gonna be talking about you. <laughs> oh, and that's not good. Cause Lord knows it isn't good. So yeah, those are the top do's and don'ts for women who, um, you know, for women every day, you know, if you, want to stay on top of your game and you know keep your fashion up you can definitely you know do that um, for anybody who wants to call in just make sure you call us at 347-640-3920 you can just join in the conversation because it's about to get good I'm gonna start talking about uh, some of the red carpet outfits that um, are going that happens at the VMAs and black girl rock but before I get into that I'm just going to give you guys a little update on uh, what's going to be going on for uh, the fall of fashion. Um, currently, you know, we're getting ready to jump into fall. You know, I'm sad, but a little happy all at the same time because, uh, you know, summer's over. The kids are going back to school. <laughs> so I'm excited about that. Um, but the fashion for, you know, the fall that's going to be coming up is definitely going to be reds and pinks. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Um, just before we get into that also, I just want to, you know, let you guys know that silvers and, you know, like black leather is going to be back again. I know it kind of like for some people, it's just like, oh, it's every season, it's nothing. Um, but usually it does dip in and out, but it is going to be a, a lot in the stores um, this season. Um, and if, I think it's like a few weeks or it's, no, 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 it's this week coming up. Fashion week is actually starting. So we're actually going to be seeing the new stuff that's going to be, you know, getting ready for next year. Um, so keep an eye out for that. And I hope everybody is excited. All right, so let's go into this red carpet from the VMAs. Um, the VMAs happened probably like a few weeks ago. If you guys, um, you know, missed it, if you didn't miss it, it's okay, it's so good. So I'm just going to recap on some of the fashion that happened um, over there. Mainly the one of our girls, you know, you know her, Carly B. Love you. Okay. <laughs> One of our girls from the Bronx, she looked amazing. She was wearing a custom royal inspired magenta velvet dress um, that was made by Nicholas Jabron. And, you know, that piece was really good. Like, the shoulder part came down and gave us a little boob action. Um, but it, it cinched her right at her waist, and it was just perfect. Like, I was so excited to see her, you know, after she had the baby, and she was just looking so snatched the way she was. Um, but, yeah, I'm really proud of you, Carly B. You looked great and amazing. Um, and a little fun fact, she got her dress um, altered at uh, Madame Paulette. Madame Paulette is, like, a big tailoring company that's in the city. Um, when I did my pageant, I got my dress altered by them, too. So, hey, girl. <laughs> okay, 
So um, next we're going to be talking about Nicki Minaj, what she was wearing. Um, Nicki, dear Nicki, I love you, but what were you doing at the VMAs in a Speedo and some tool? Now, girl, <laughs> girl, hello, girl. It was not a pool party, okay? This was the VMAs. You were getting awards, okay? That's not how you, you show up. That you just don't do that, okay? You could have done better. Like, listen, Carla B from the Bronx did way better, okay? And you've been in the game for a little while longer. You need to step your game up because that was horrible. I couldn't believe it. Like, what are you doing? Like, are you serious right now? But little uh, chit chat talk on the side. There was a little rumor that uh, she was getting so much backlash about her Speedo outfit that uh, she actually fired her whole style team good move because that was horrible what are you doing okay <laughs> all right so the next one i want to talk about is actually the red carpet from the black girls rock um show i didn't actually get to see it but i did see all the amazing fashion and one of my favorite you know outfits of the night was actually from little mama you know I don't know what's going on with her lately, but she's actually been doing some some really nice things and big moves. I heard she had a, a movie on like Lifetime or something um, that she's been doing, and it's been really really nice. But she was wearing a custom piece from the Ivy uh, showroom. They're like located in Atlanta. They work with like um, big designers, little designers, and they give them like little shine. But like that outfit was so amazing it had like uh it looked like polyurethane shredded up in uh different colors and it was really really good and i thought you know that was amazing she looked really good girl you look good like your style team is on point i don't know what's going on but i like it <laughs> all right so the next one up is janet jackson now queen janet jackson okay she's just there sitting in her room, getting ready to uh, grace everybody on the red carpet with that outfit. Girl, you are amazing. When I heard you were in Harlem the other day, I almost died. I was like, oh my gosh, I live right there. Why, you, you know, I could have ran down there and go see you, you know, do a little mm, mm, mm. You know what I mean? But she looked amazing. Let me start off by saying that she, her gown was custom made by Christian Sariano. Now he's amazing. Like, he does almost everybody's work. You know, if you're somebody who's in the industry and you can't find something to wear, he will definitely snatch you up. And he snatched her up, definitely. Um, her boots were by R13 Denim. Um, her earrings were by H-Crown. Now, for people who don't really know who H-Crown is, they, um, they're the company that um, first, like, put together the crowns for the Met Gala. So all those crowns that they had at the Met Gala that, you know, uh, Carly B was wearing, um, all the other celebs, um, they actually designed all of them. And it was so amazing. Um, Madonna has actually worked with them. They were, she was actually the first celebrity to be like, hey, let me try on those rings. Let me, let me show them off. Um, and that actually was the, the the main person that brought them on the mat. Um, Nikki has also worn their stuff um, their stuff as well. Um, in that single, you know, Queen, she has like a picture, like an album picture cover, um, and a lot of the dazzles and jazzle stuff on there. That's H Crown. They do amazing work. Okay, next up is uh, Fantasia, I believe. Is that Fantasia? Yeah, that's Fantasia. Um, she, the first outfit, she's wearing like a long black dress um, that is custom made by Sergio Hudson. I'm not too sure who Sergio Hudson is, but he did an amazing job with that um, long black dress. You know, I love Fantasia. She has that beautiful like gospel style uh, voice, um, but it, it has a little, you know, rough edges to it. And I love that. You keep rocking it, girl. Um, and that bodysuit that she had on also in the performance piece was Alexander Vitor, and the skirt was Alejandro Collection. Her jewelry was by CZ Kenneth Jane Lane. Now, 
their jewelry, I'm, as you can see, I love jewelry. I love me some jewelry. Um, their jewelry collection is like really big on like snakes and stars this season. And you know, that's a really good thing because you know, their, um, the snakes, like snake skin and all that type of serpent stuff, that's actually really, really big in this season. So they're like really on top of their game. All right, so <sighs> I know you guys are gonna kill me for this, but Angela Simmons, girl, girl, what were you thinking? I love you, you're so cute and amazing and I really, really like you, um, but this Versace tiger dress that everybody has been rocking, everybody from Beyonce to Black China, why, why would you do that? If you couldn't find an ensemble, go to Kristen Sariano. I already told you that. Girl, listen, you can't be doing that to yourself. Like, no. Like, you knew that everybody was gonna compare you to those two once you put that on your body. Like, those boots were amazing. Like, I'm not gonna lie, those boots were fly. But that dress, it didn't even go right with you. What's going on? Do you need to chit chat? Let's talk. <laughs> but next time, girl, just do it. Just go contact Christian Sariano. He'll do it for you. Or you get one of those custom designers in the Bronx. Okay? If you're a custom designer in the Bronx, hit me up so you can be on the show. Just send me a quick DM at Catherine underscore J on Instagram. Definitely, that would be amazing. <laughs> Oh, hey, Bestie. My friend Crystal is watching. Hey, girl. <laughs> All right, and last but not least, um, we're going to talk about Mary J. Blige. I love you. You're the queen, okay? So I'm going to be kind of nice the best way that I can. I don't know what that outfit was on the red carpet of Black Girls Rock, but um, it looked like a flower cutout with some black and white splashed all over the place. And then it looked like a grandma pleated skirt at the bottom. I love you, your style is way better than that. It's like glam hood style. But that dress that you had on, girl, what was going on? I know you're going through some tough times right now, but no, you're the queen, okay? You're the queen. The queen don't show up like that. I'm gonna give you a pass on this one, but uh, for next time, mm -mm, there is no way that that is gonna happen, okay? All right, no more cutouts, no more flower cutouts, you know? Like, it was like confusing. It was like, what is she doing? Is she like a black cheetah stripper mixed with old lady grandma skirt? What's going on, girl? Mm-mm, you gotta make better decisions. If you need a new stylist, hit me up. You know where to find me. I'm on the gram. Check me out. Follow me on Facebook. I'll be there. I'll help you out. I'll hook you up. But that, that was no buenos. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, definitely. And if you guys have um, any, you know, pictures that you think that you want me to, you know, have some comments about or you think that they look good or they look bad or, you know, you just want me to chit chat about it, make sure you hit me up. I can definitely talk about it on the show and let you know what I think. <laughs> yeah, that is so good and great. Um, so thanks so much, you know, uh, for listening up. I do want to get into, you know, some other things that are talking about, but before I do that, I'm just going to let you guys know that I am looking for designers to be on the show so we can chit chat about your new collections. Are you going to be in New York Fashion Week? Are you not? What's going to be going on? Because I know Fashion Week is like next week and I'm like kind of excited. There's like so many shows that I've got invited to and... I don't even know if I'm gonna make it to all of them, but I'm excited. Oh, and for everyone who's in the Bronx right now, Bronx Fashion Week is this weekend. So make sure that you guys get your tickets. Shout out to Flora, you're amazing, boo. <laughs> Um, she's doing uh, uh, a taste of fashion um, where there's going to be about uh, 30 different restaurants. It'll be, you know, providing food that's going to be there. It's going to be an amazing thing. Fashion and food, uh, sometimes they usually don't mix. Um, but food and fashion this time, I think is going to be a great thing. 
Um, you know, so Fashion Week is so important for like a designer to, you know, push forward on what, you know, they need to do for their career. So New York Fashion Week is like one of the biggest things, um, you know, now. Um, all the fashion events is going to be happening. You, you know, as somebody who's been in the fashion industry, I can just let you know personally that, you know, it doesn't always have to be like a fashion show. It can be a fashion presentation. You can even have like a little pop-up shop um, where you're just showcasing your stuff and, you know, showing, you know, your fashion goods that you have there. So, you know, don't feel discouraged if you're a designer and you're like, oh, I'm not doing a show in fashion week. Don't worry, girl. All you need to do is rent out a little space, you know, get a couple of bloggers or influencers there to critique on your work, and then you'll be set. You know, because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of bloggers who are really interested in uh, finding out, you know, all the new stuff that's coming up in this uh, next season for 2019. So people who are new to fashion, we always are like a year ahead. So what usually happens is that's why there's always so much knockoffs like when they're doing stuff because people already see the what's going to be printed for the next year and they're already read it like H&M. But are we still mad at H&M? Are we? No? Yes? We, we, we got over it? All right. So let me go talk about that. <laughs> So H&M is going to be having some great stuff that's going to be coming out this next season. Um, of course, it's going to be total knockoffs of everything that's out there. But I think it's a great um, affordable price that is out there for somebody who just wants to be fashionable. And, you know, you, yeah, you don't always have it. So I, I definitely think that, you know, H&M is, is the place to go. I know there are some people who are going to be mad that I'm saying that, but... Oh, well, if you could look snatched on an H&M budget, go and do it, girl. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Definitely. Um, but, yeah, so, you know, uh, Fashion Week starts um, September 6th, um, and it goes all the way to the 16th. Um, this year, I think it got a little extended because normally it's just usually like the basic 10 days that they have. But a lot of other um, designers have been like pulling out of what's called the shows. And they've been actually doing their own like uh, fashion shows. So basically those two blocks are blocked off for all like the fashion events that you could do in New York City. So just keep in mind if you're trying to do something in the city on those days that is going to be packed and busy and all over the place and it's not a good idea. <laughs> but yeah, like all the great fashion is going to be coming out and I'm just excited. I can't wait. Like there's no there's no way of like calming me down on this whole situation, but it's really good. Like I can't wait to see what's gonna be new and big, what what's gonna be like the best items that's gonna be out, or like they're gonna be plaid furs or you know uh, custom jewelry coming back. Um, one of my favorite things from last season uh, was the uh, Giuseppe Zioni uh, boots that had came out. I know I reposted that on my Instagram, but it was really, really good. They were really cute, and they're they're finally out, you know, like for purchase. So they're like these um, maroon style Italian boots that you know they're like they come up to the ankle and they're like a small heel. So they're just like a basic booty that you can get. Um, you don't have to get those. You can always go the cheaper ones. Don't worry. No one's going to know. Okay? I'm not going to tell on you. I won't. I won't tell. <laughs> yeah, that would be so great. But like, yeah, like when you see fashion, fashion just like opens the whole thing. Like fashion connects with so many different things like music, art. Um, one of the fashion shows that are like really big in the city now is called Fashion Art Gallery. And Fashion Art Gallery, they actually work with um, painters and fashion designers all at the same time to like promote um, what great things that they're going to be doing, like a lot of the stuff that they're going to be auctioning off um, for good or just for regular livelihood and, you know, having, you know, designers showcase their stuff there. Um, I remember seeing uh, one of the shows by Angel Brinks 
Angel Brinks was is like one of the she used to be like a housewife I think it was like in Hollywood or something like that um, and she had like an amazing uh, show and I was so happy to be there I met like so many different people I saw I saw Mariah Lynn I saw Dancing Dan it was just so crazy it was just like a great show oh yeah and you know the pre-show for the VMAs um, Carly B was actually wearing one of her outfits um, Angel Brinks outfits are like literally glitter, glit, glit, blah, blah. <laughs> glittery and they're like skin tight and amazing. They're like, you know, if you want to go out and be glammed and sexy and snatched all at the same time, that is definitely what you want to wear. Um, yeah, and she was also wearing, I think they were like Louis Vuitton boots. They kind of like matched with it perfectly. Yeah, was it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but it was an amazing um a pre-show from the VMAs and that outfit was girl it was on point like it was really really good yeah so it's like you know fashion is just moves every little thing that you know everything around us like you don't necessarily have to think that it's like your goal or your big thing that goes with you but like look at that like when you're a lawyer um, and you have to go in a courtroom. You have a specific style and fashion that you have to wear. You have to wear the suit. It has to be, you know, pressed really nicely. And that's still fashion. You know, Tim Gunn, who is somebody who, who's a part of, like, Project Runway, he always wears a suit. I mean, yeah, he wears casual suits. He wears, like, fancy suits. But, like, the suit is, like, so important in his staple wardrobe. And that's his fashion. You know, so you can always incorporate all the good things and um, make yourself look great as long as you, you know, keep in mind the five do's and don'ts that I just talked about a little while ago. <laughs> It'll make your life a little bit easier and smoother. <laughs> um, but yeah, like fashion is the best thing to me. But I know a lot of people are just like, oh, fashion, who cares? You know, it's just on a magazine. It doesn't really mean anything. But the reality is everybody loves fashion. It's just they love fashion in their own different and little way. And it's great. Um, I remember, you know, when I first got into fashion school, it was just like the best thing ever. Like they taught you um, how fashion progressed through the histories. And you know what's so crazy? A lot of the fashion just repeats itself. It's just a matter of, you know, buying the right things, working the right ensembles, and making sure that you look crisp and great before you walk out the door. Because you never know when there's going to be a camera looking at you. <laughs> That's going to be great. Um, but yeah, no, definitely, you know, Focus on, you know, your things, your key things. Like, for instance, I know I have great legs. So when I'm wearing an outfit, I try to make sure that every other focus is, like, covered up. So, like, I would wear, like, a long sleeve and wear, like, a little shorter skirt. So it's a focal point. If you have something that, you know, you don't really like about your body, which you shouldn't because you're beautiful and everybody loves you. <laughs> But you should, you know, try to not say cover it up, but don't draw attention to it. So, like, if you're, you know, more flat-chested, um, you would wear, like, halter tops more because it's easier for someone who has a smaller chest to wear halter tops. And they won't, people won't focus in on it more than if you're, you know, wearing a long V-neck and showing all the girls out bringing all the boys to the yard with their milkshake no <laughs> yeah no but definitely you, you you pick that one item and you just focus on that and you try to make sure that you zero in on it which also goes back to like the whole thing of like not we wearing too much jewelry so like if you're gonna wear a statement piece you just make sure that, you know, you keep it calm. Like, I kept it neutral, and then I showed my little, you know, razzle-dazzle, because it's like, there's a few colors of fabrics and things that are in here. Um, and it doesn't take away from what I'm trying to show you guys. So you can definitely do that and keep that in mind on all uh, the stuff for, you know, the next time when I come back 
all the way next month. It's so far away. Isn't it so far away? I know. It's okay. Well, one day I'll be on a weekly show, but <laughs> for now it's once a month. Um, and when I come back, I'm going to be talking about uh, the fashion that's going to be happening for next year. Um, definitely uh, how school has been going, because, you know, school fashion changes so quickly like i know supreme is still a big thing um with their backpacks right now but i think supreme also has like katanas now and ninja stars i don't know but maybe people will be putting them on their backpacks as they're going to school uh this season so i'm definitely gonna keep an eye out on that and let you guys know what's gonna be going on with that <laughs> Yeah. Um, and also, you know, talking about the current fashions, what's happening, any other award shows, any other red carpets it's going to be talking about. And definitely, if you guys, you know, want to be on the show, you just let me know. You know, uh, just send me a quick DM on Instagram at Catherine underscore J, and you can definitely do that. Or you can just call in at 347-640-3920. It was so great talking to you beautiful people about all the wonderful fashion and all the great updates and everything that you're doing. And I can't wait till next time. But I'll see you guys soon. All right. Bye.